Now, will we see comments or do we have to have it on? It says we're live, so we'll see. Okay. And it says that we can see comments and we'll see what happens. Good morning if you're joining us live and if you're not and you're joining us later, then that's awesome too. Good morning. I'm still going to have it on my phone so we can check yeah. out comments. You, you? Yeah. Oh, look. That's funny. Apparently we weren't live while I was talking, but there are people here. That's awesome. Good morning. Good morning. Yay. I Julie's here already. Look at that. Man, alive, you are on the stick this morning, Julie. I think you must be able to see stuff and I can't. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. That, well, that's why I like it. I like keeping you in the dark. <laughs> that was intentional. No, it wasn't. Not even. I don't have a notification. I never get them early. Really? Well, I got a notification. Always behind the eight ball. Holy oh, there always behind the eight ball. There's Laura and Debbie and Belinda and Julie and Maggie and Jean and Sharon. Holy cow. And Lydia. Hey, Maggie. Hi, Judy. Is here. Karen from Tulsa. Nice. Kathy Flower. Hi there, Kathy. Liz Green. Everybody's here. Sorry, I'm looking at you. up early today. <laughs> Nicholas. Now, here's the thing, right? So we say all these names. Hi, Janet. We will miss somebody. I guarantee you. Hey, Jane. We will. There's Teresa. We will definitely miss you. Carrie, I'm trying hard to keep up. <laughs> I will miss somebody. So Carolyn, I think, is somewhat um, handicapped this morning because you, you, you can't see everybody, right? I know. I have to use my phone. So. Okay. All right. I, Arlene is here from Iowa. I didn't know that's where you lived, Arlene. And May from Arkansas. And Susan is here, and I'm going to start sneezing, and that's never a good thing. I don't have a good Kleenex. So I make all these faces. People who spend any amount of time with me know that I don't sneeze, and I don't like to sneeze, and I make all kinds of faces. Yeah. Oh, Lydia, she's sitting in line at Publix getting toilet paper and watching us. That's hysterical. Good morning, Liz. That's too funny. Tony's here. May. Hey, May. Hey, it's like a party, y'all. June showing up. It's I like a it. I like it too. I miss you though. I mean, you're here, but we're like not in the same space. I know. It is kind of weird. We're social distancing. That's right. Social distancing at its finest. As only we can do. Hi, Billy. Hi, Mary. Hi, Connie. Welcome to Canada. What? Nice. Who's in Canada? Well, the Julie's saying that, but did she travel to Canada? Oh, no. We're traveling right now. I could be confused. I bet she's making a funny and I'm just too dense to catch it. Probably. There is Lazy Linda Crocheter. She's new from Phoenix. Hi, Lazy Linda. I bet you're not as lazy as you say you are. I bet you're not as lazy as me. What'd you say? I said, I bet she's not as lazy as me. Her name is Lazy Linda Crocheter. She says she's new from Phoenix. Nice. Welcome, Lazy Linda. You're not lazy. <laughs> not lazy. Exactly. Right. If you're a crocheter, you're probably not lazy. Judy. here. You're not lazy. Hi, Judy. I need hand lotion badly. My hands are so dried out from washing them all the time. Oh, Julie thought someone's from Ottawa. Got it. Sorry. Probably. Uh, and I just missed it. I'm a little discombobulated, but I know you're not shocked by that. Maggie, Maggie, look at her. She like gets right to it. Michelle, did you finish your sweater? Right. No messing around. Dun, dun, dun. The answer is no. <laughs> it's close. Oh, so close. It's so close. Let me show you how much yarn I have left. Hi, Susan Train. There it is. That's a little bit of yarn that I have left. Hi, Tony and Tish. How's that? They're all like, how's that sleeve? Look at y'all holding me accountable. I think I like that. I'm not sure. That's the yarn that's left. But here is the sleeve. I, I, I knit as long as I could last night. And then I just had to go to bed. And I meant to get up like at five this morning so I could have it done. But it wasn't happening. I've actually just started taking an antibiotic. So um, I think I needed my sleep. I'm okay. I just allergies that turned into something. Um, so I, yeah. So then I got up this morning and I, I knitted and knitted and knitted and didn't get it done. Hi, Audrey. 
Maggie says she's been up since 4 a.m. and was wondering. I'm pretty sure I was not like taking up all your headspace thinking about my silly sweater, but thanks, May. Pictures just don't do it justice. You're so kind. I have to tell you. So when I chose this, I'll stop talking in a minute. Well, for at least a second. But, <laughs> but I first chose these colors because I, I thought it would be nice. And I'm not really typically a blue person. Like I don't wear a lot of blue. And I thought, well, it would look nice with jeans because I was in that, you know, really um, indecisive mode. Carolyn knows a thing or two about my indecisiveness. But, <laughs> but, and I was like, well, it'll look nice with jeans. It'll be fine. I'll be happy with it. I tried it on um, when I had the one sleeve done and I put it on to see if it fit. And I really, really, really liked the color. Like I really liked it on me. And yeah. I'm very surprised by that. I mean, it's a pretty blue, but like I said, I don't usually wear a lot of blue. So I'm, I'm super excited about it. Um, so I hope to finish. It'll be done by the weekend, hopefully done and completely blocked by the weekend. I'm anxious to get it blocked so I can see if it actually fits the way I need it to fit. There's a couple holier areas, holier yeah, <laughs> on Sunday. There's a couple holier areas on it that I'm going to go in and stitch up a little bit just under the arms, as you might expect. But um, I'm really I'm really excited about it. And I'm even more excited to get started on my Novelli, which is staring at me like, hello. Um, and I'm also as soon as I finish my other um, shawl that is almost done as well, then I'm going to start on either Cubecha that's in the newsletter this week. Did you guys see that? Or um, waiting for rain with beads. I can't decide which one I'm going to do. So there Both you go. Good. Now Both be beads with Cubecha if you knit that pattern. That pattern does not call for beads, but if you looked at it, the link is in your newsletter this morning. It's a really, it's a boomerang shawl that's actually not very deep. It's a very shallow boomerang. And I like that because you can just wrap it around your neck and it's got these really cool cubes that you knit that hang and it doesn't call for beads, but I, um, I think I might like to try to put some beads in those cubes. I think that would be pretty to have the beads hang down in the cubes, but I haven't really looked to see, um, how that, how you create those cubes and whether or not I can integrate beads into it. You know, me with my, um, my longstanding history of, of beading. You know, <laughs> or I'm sure I can figure that out. What was the shawl that you and I both did? You did it, Lady Dragon Dreams, and I did it in uh, Raspberry Sorbet. Yes. Um, so something simple. Simple. Very... Yes. If oh, hold on, it is um, be simple variations. Yes, I'm thinking of going since that's I love that boomerang shape. Mm -hmm. I'm doing that and adding beads because it'll be a simple pattern that I can do while. That's a good idea. May says that she's got thunderstorms rolling through, so she might disappear. Hold on tight. Tony says her goal this weekend is to finish the drifter and pull my eyes out colors. I love it. We want to see it. Jane is asking about the new blue yarn in sock weight. Are you talking about unpearl to pearl? Is that what you're talking about? That would be the new blue yarn. That is the new blue yarn. This is it in Rawlings right here that I'm holding on to. I don't know if there's any left in sock weight. Those pre-orders went really fast. Maybe one of us can look in just a second and see yeah. if it's available on sock weight. I thought Jane ordered some of that though. Isn't Did that who Maybe she's asking if I have it to ship it. Could be. And Giffen says, oh my gosh, it's stunning. It is stunning. I'm in love with it. Absolutely. So Mary asked if Carolyn could turn up her volume. Maria's here. Hi, Maria. Jane says, oh, my gosh, it's stunning. You are so kind. It you is. know what? My volume is up as high as it goes, but I'm always quieter than Michelle. Do I need to yell? I'll just yell over Michelle. <laughs> Nobody asked for your commentary. Nobody asked. Hey. There are two left on Twain, if you're looking for Twain. Um, Rawlings, I actually like Rawlings for sock. Just a tiny bit of silk in there makes it very soft. We have seven left on Rawlings. So if All you're right. looking for socks. Jane says she's ordering now. Liz says it's gorgeous. Everybody likes it. Yeah, Jane watched you dye it. I know, the toilet paper stitch markers are hilarious, Connie. 
Is what possible? I don't know. I feel like Tish is making a comment about me again. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Unfurl to pearl. Should I unfurl it? I have sure. to cut the I have to cut the um the tag off. Hold on a second. I'm gonna leave for a quick moment. I'm gonna snip this tag off so you can see it. Unfurled, true to its name. That is the advantage of being in the studio when we do these. I have to tell you. Yeah, the things at hand. Um, it's Rawlings or Twain for sock weight, Jane. The the it depends on what you want. Rawlings is more luxurious. It's merino silk and cashmere. It's got a little bit of sheen and a higher twist to it. And then Twain. Um, is also sock weight. That's your merino nylon, very hardy yarn. They're all hardy. Silk is strong. Unfurl to pearl. You guys saw this being dyed up in the studio. And it will be going out soon. We will definitely meet our deadline for it going out. Um, my shop assistant, Emma, has determined as is right that she will not be working during this time of isolation so it's just no julie they have not shipped yet they will be shipping soon they are due to ship by april 13th i believe is the date um but i'm going to work on getting them out prior to that um now i'm going to that whip to make sure she takes over emma's responsibilities <laughs> yeah, whatever <laughs> so I'm, and I'll, I'll just tell you here, I've been tossing around in my mind what to do about that. Um, I thought what I would do because it's not actually due to ship until April 13th. That was the date that was in the pre-order. Um, but I do have it, but I have to, there's, there's quite a lot of it to ship and I don't have Emma here to help me ship it. So I think what I'm going to do is ship it based upon the, the, when you ordered. So the people who ordered first will be shipped first. So there may be in the yarn you use, you may see some people getting it a little bit ahead of you, but I'll be steady working on it. I'm going to start working on it this week and sending it out in shifts um, as I can do it. So um, it will be, we'll be way ahead of schedule. You'll get it by way before the date that we actually said that you would get it but it'll go out in shift so some people in the yarn use may be posting it don't panic it will be going out hi karen welcome there's only a little bit of it left <laughs> how many did you say so, karen? um there were two of twain seven of rawlings i think there's like two on the beast but that's okay. one, a big big hank of the mcn yeah um, 600 yards May commented and said, I admire all of you finishing things. I can't seem to make myself focus on one project. Hey, I'm in the same boat, May. You're not alone. Um, well, please. I never finish. I mean, it's so rare that I finish anything. I'll be like joyously dancing. Joyous the first has become the last and the last has become the first. <laughs> uh, I don't know about all that, but yeah, something like that. Anyway, website said Twain is sold out. Oh, somebody must have got to it before you just now. Oh, yep. Sorry. Perfect. Um, there's Rawlings. There should be Rawlings. And like I said, there is Beast, if you don't mind, if you want the bigger hank. That's great sock yarn as well. I the actually beast is awesome. Um, the beast is my favorite. That and Rawlings. Let's see here. May says she keeps starting new things. Well, you know what, May? At least you're still knitting and make or crocheting and, and still making. That's important. Okay. Okay, so here we are. You're you're right. Twain is now gone. There are seven on Rawlings and one on the Beast. Okay. So it's yeah. So you want to snag it now. Um, I don't know that there's any plans to dye more of that. So I'm not really sure. Somebody, yeah, somebody had asked. I think Emily. Um, probably because we do need more blues in the shop, as you had mentioned. But my dye schedule, which is sitting right over there, I have like 10 colorways that need to be updated in the shop. So we'll probably get to those and then work back down to, to refilling. Um, mm -hmm. Plus there's always plans for new colorways. And I we'll have to do a vote or something, Michelle. Maybe you can help me set it up because you're better yeah. with it. We need, we need to do a vote. Jane said she got a Rawlings, yay. And Julie thinks she's funny. Julie said, post a video of you dancing, Michelle Kristoff. Yes, would that just be 
confusing for everybody. That would be funny. Hmm. Jane Giffen said, what, not going to restock the TP? That's too funny. Too funny. Okay, yeah, it's going. Where's the city of the TP, you remember? <laughs> Where's the city of the TP? Oh, Emily Marvin said, thank you to all for helping her to get her to knit the other night Yay. at Knit Night. Yay! That's good news. I'm glad. Y'all, those knit nights are so fun. And dare I share that we've had another yarn of you step up and who's offered to purchase some prizes for more games at our virtual knit night. And so it looks like it'll probably be gift cards this time to Olive and To You Studios. She wants to remain anonymous. So that's super sweet. Um, and we'll come up with something other than our tired game of Project Bag Bingo. We might, do another, we might do another thing of bingo. Um, oh, Jane, you're so sweet. Thank you. Good morning, Tara. We'll do, we'll do something else. Connie said good morning. She's finishing up lots of time on old stuff. Yep. Good morning, Susan and Robert. Um, so we'll play another game. It might be another bingo game, but it'll be something different and we'll shake it up a little bit. So I think I learned a couple tricks to make that a little more fun. And while we're talking about gift cards, you know, I can't keep my mouth shut about anything. I'm so excited. I am too. I sent them an email and asked them when they were going to ship. I haven't heard back yet, but yes, Judy, happy 50th anniversary. That is true. Yay. It couldn't be a better couple. I know. So we're going to have physical gift cards. Hopefully they'll be here this week. Yay. And they're really pretty. They are really pretty. If I do say so myself, physical gift cards for all of into you studios. So now you'll be able to actually, you can either purchase electronic gift cards um, where you can email it to the recipient. But sometimes I know people get a little tripped up on all that. So now you'll be able to purchase regular physical gift cards and we can ship those for you to the person or to you. I'm hoping they will be here um, this week, but I will let you know as soon as they are. Hi, Carol and Rhonda and Bobby. Yay. Glad you're here. Good morning. Um, so physical gift cards are coming soon. I hope by the end of this week. And they're really pretty. Did I mention they're really pretty? I really like them. I know. I love them. I love, I love them. them. I think okay. I have one. <laughs> what? I need a gift card. Are you kidding me? You dye up what you like and <laughs> I find out about it later. Oh, look at this color. I died in the studio. I think you want a cardigan from it. Whatever. <laughs> oh, your sourpuss is hanging up in the dye studio right now. Is it really? It is. The Rhea guy still got to do, but Sourpuss has been completed. Okay. I'm excited. I can't wait. To, I, I might have to just cast that on while I'm doing the belly and the other shawl. I'm so excited about it. I think I have a thing for doing sweaters. Yeah. Speaking okay. of sweaters, you want to see how far I am? Yes, I do. I was just going to ask that. I have been very monogamously knitting this week on this darn cardigan. And I, you know, the thing is, I think what it is, is I like the lightweightness of fingering weight, but I hate the time that it takes. I mean, literally, this has taken me hours upon hours upon hours. But anyway, I am literally three inches, I think, away from the ribbing on the bottom. That feels like it's gone so fast. Well, it started off very slow because I was having a hard time focusing on knitting, but... I'm now that I'm that far down, I'm like motivated to get it. Yeah. Down. Yeah. It's beautiful. So. And then you're onto the sleeves, right? Yep. And then I'll be onto the sleeves and then I have to do the button band and the, the collar and all that good stuff, which feels like it's going to take forever, but I think it'll go fast. There is a cable that will run down the sleeve. Um, it's the Dustin cardigan by Isabel Kramer. And then there's this pretty cable that's running down the side as well. I love it. That okay. is gorgeous. Oh. Fun now. I hate it. Well, I'm not ready to do the Dunedin, but I'm <laughs> the pattern that shall not be named. That's right. Ugh. Anyway, yeah. That's so pretty. Oh, I wanted to show. We had some people ask about colors to go with unfurl to pearl. And let me just say, we have a color coming next week that is ideal for it as well. But I wanted to show. It looks spectacular with potato peel pie. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It really makes that blue pop. And we have a couple colors on the beast that it goes also equally fantastic with. Um, 
I love this. This is actually copper with it. And it's perfect for it. Yo, yeah, that's a good idea. Mm. Copper that's available on the beast. And then also it looks great with burnt. Because see those golden orangey tones in it that are just accents and that really pulls it out. Yeah, it does. You're so good with that. Really beautiful colors. And then next week we have a new color coming. Not going to tell you what it is, but it is, it's going to be, um, it's going to be there. Oh, Liz, she said, I started calling potato peel pie P cubed. That's hysterical. Like my F squared sweater. <laughs> yes. We got to do what works for us. Um, did you dye the super bulky indecent? Yes, we do have a super bulky called indecent. Yes, we do. Absolutely. Oh, Tara said she ordered potato peel pie when she ordered the unfurl to pearl. Smart, smart, smart. That's right. We have it in DK. It has sold out in DK. So it when sold out. Sorry. If and when I redye it, I will definitely put it back on DK. I think this is my favorite combo right now. Yeah, I agree. But they're all fantastic. I love the burnt too. And you know how I like orange, even though I don't wear it well. Let me just write that down on my dye schedule. I know. I know. Oh, yeah, the mocha. Okay, Sharon, you just gave up the secret. Yep, the mocha will be in the shop next week, and that goes fantastically with it. It does. Perfectly, fantastically with it. Okay, so you want to talk about new yarn? Yes, always want to talk about new yarn. Well, it's sort of new yarn. It's it, it's old familiar favorites that are being restocked. I, I was waxing rather philosophical in the newsletter this week, in case you didn't check that out. <laughs> it was very good. <laughs> But it's true. So we talked last week a little bit about um, Bird of Blue with Spindle Prick Red because I really like that together. Of course, now I can't put my hand on Bird of Blue. I think it's behind you up. It's behind me. No, that's Till We Meet Again. Oh. oh. Yeah. It may have sold out. We sold a lot of Bird of Blue. It may actually be sold out. But anyway, and Carolyn was really liking Till We Meet Again with. Um, with spindle. the spindle prick red. Yeah, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. And she really liked this, and it does look awesome. How yeah, the hat that you want to do, I got the same pattern, and I think I'll use those too. There you go. I want to do it. Now, here's the thing, right? So Marianne Lammers is the designer who did this these awesome mosaic knitting patterns. And I was all excited because I wanted to share with you all this week um, the link to get to her pattern so you could pick them up. Yeah, she's done. March 31st. Yes, March 31st was the last day that her patterns were available on Ravelry. So I had bought several of them in advance and Carolyn had bought some, I think, because they were really stunning. Now, here's the thing. You could try to connect with her on Ravelry and see if she would um, sell you some patterns, um, but she may not. So, but there's tons of other mosaic patterns available on Ravelry. Now, I think that Laura Sage Blair actually posted a link to a mosaic pattern today called Painted Windows, maybe? Is that Painted the name? Glass. Painted Glass. Okay. Um, so that's a mosaic pattern. There are loads of them actually on Ravelry that you can take a look at. And they're really beautiful. And they're not near as hard as they look because you're only using one color each row around, but they look almost like intarsia or color work or whatever. So these two yeah, keeps your interest. It's easy, but keeps your interest. Yeah, exactly. So spindle prick red has been restocked. Some of that's already gone out the door today. And then teal we meet again, which looks really, really great. That's one of my most favorite colors. That and bird of blue are right there neck and neck for me. Um, Crush it is a colorway that we get asked for a lot. And um, Julie, she's not. She's retired and she's done. But you could email her and see. Um, oh, Maria says Barbara Benson has mosaic patterns. There you go. So Crush It is one of those colors that we get asked about a lot. It always sells out as soon as it's done. Right now we have it on Alcott. 
It's a difficult color to dye. The dye powder goes everywhere in the studio and makes a mess for Carolyn. Um, but we have some of the Crush It on Alcott right now. So if you're looking for that, and then of course, Berry, which is very similar, but doesn't have the speckles and the tonal quality as much to it. And you know, we have Berry also in the full Hanks. And then we also have, where'd it go? It like, it hid, there it is. We also have Riaga now on Alcott in the Alcott minis, and it's not showing up great on camera, but it's really, really pretty. Riaga on the Alcott minis. And then of course, one of our absolute fan faves, Miss Molly is back and looking mighty fine with fingerlings. It looks awesome with that and with potato peel pie. I think it looks great with Ooh. potato peel pie or with, let me snag some fingerlings up here. Why is nothing at my hand? <laughs> really? There we go. Here's some fingerlings with it. You might rem remember that Laura Blair did a sweater with this. Beautiful. How does it look with mallow? Do you have any mallow back there? I do, and I think it looks fantastic with mallow. Hubba hubba. Really pretty. Great for summer, for sure. Cynthia says she loves Crush It. Um, Robin, would you ever dye a striping yarn in popular solid and a popular coordinating multicolor? We don't actually dye self-striping yarn. We She dyes yarn that in a small circumference, semi-stripes, kind of pseudo-stripes, but we don't actually dye self-striping yarn. But it takes a different setup and in order for us to be as efficient as possible, it's just, it's kind of why we don't do cotton a ton either is because it's a totally different process for that even. And so it's, it's harder to be efficient. Maybe Robin's asking if you would do a couple colors together, like maybe, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, in something that's kind of striped, quote unquote, like this is dyed, maybe mm -hmm. coordinating colors. Yeah. yeah. You never know. Yeah, you never, never know. Anything is possible with this bunch. That's right. Who knows? Maybe one day I'll wake up and say, I need to do self striping yarn. <laughs> Probably not, but you never know. Lord help us all. Yeah. All right. So I have to show this just because I love it. You can't have it because it's already sold and it's a whimsy. This is one of the whimsies that sold yesterday. And I have to tell you, hi, Catherine. I have to tell you, I really, I was holding it like this in the studio, looking at it, deciding whether or not I was going to put it on feature because I love this. Excuse me. And look at the pink beads that go with it. That's awesome. Two people were the lucky recipients of that feature. And I think that sold in something like, oh, I don't know, three minutes. Yeah. It was completely sold out. Um, so, but I, yeah, I just asked her, I was like, can you, can you make some more of this for me? And she's like, no, we don't know what we did with that one. Sorry, you're out of luck. That's the way it is with the whimsies. Whatever, not even for me. Hi, Rita. So yep. there's that. Hey, I heard that those crazy girls with Olive and 2U Studios are gonna do a stitch marker exchange. Well, that could be fun. Did you hear that? I did hear that. <laughs> At 11 o'clock last night? <laughs> <laughs> no, was, we've been talking about this for a long time. Yes, we have. So we thought it would be fun. Everybody likes mail, right? And right now, while we're all kind of isolated, um, we thought it would be fun if we mailed each other stitch markers. So keep an eye out in the Yarny Use. We're going to put a thread up where you will be able to record your interest in such an exchange. And then we'll get you matched up with somebody else, hopefully kind of cross country, cross world, whatever. And um, so you'll just send a stitch marker, a specially chosen stitch marker for your pal. And that's it. So it's inexpensive and just find something to get in the mail um, a good time. And so we'll see how that expands. So be on the lookout for a special stitch marker for your person. And um, we'll get that posted sometime this week so you can determine. And we'll have like a start date and then an end date that you need to make sure that you ship by and we'll get you all connected with somebody. But we thought that would be a lot of fun. And then who knows where it'll go from there. You just never know. And that's in the Yarny use, right? They have to be in 
You have to be in the yarn of use. So if you're not in the yarn of use yet, I mean, why aren't you? I mean, come on, come on. dude. <laughs> so, um, we're having way too much fun in the yarn of use right now. It's all good. I just, I just love the kindness of everybody. I like how everybody's looking out for each other and helping each other out with patterns and color selection. And even just, I had a crappy day today, you know, and people come around. Um, that just means the world to us. And we're so, yeah. so blessed. Jana's asked me, what is the color on the edge of your screen over your left shoulder? It looks purple and green. This one? No, your other left. My other left? This one? Yeah. So this is one of two Hanks I think we have available on Rawlings of Infamy, which was the Yarn Lounge Bradenton colorway. Mm -hmm. It's one of two. They're both on Rawlings, and that is all that's left of that colorway. So there it is. I hope that was the one. This was blossoming. I thought that it really is green and purple. I thought maybe that might be it. We got a little bit of that left too. So absolutely. So, huh? I said, I love it. Love it. So one more thing to share about stuff being updated in the shop this week. We have completely restocked all of our Chow Goo needles. So we've got Chow Goo cords. If you were looking for a particular side cord, kite size cord, we have restocked our, sorry, I'm like being buried in yarn here. We've got the twist shorties right now. These are the little ones, um, the two and three inch. These are size US zero to US three needles that people love. And Robert, so these are what I'm doing my sweater sleeves on. We were talking about DPNs. I, I can't stomach DPNs. So these are the shorties on the blue flex. And let me show you really quick on my sweater because they're awesome. They're just little circular needles. But the work, you have the ability to make the working needle always longer so your hands don't cramp up and then a shorter other needle. And they're just on a circular and go around. Oh, just drop my sweater. Sorry, I'm stretching it. Um, and you just go around and around and around in a circular fashion. And it's it's quick, quicker, dare I say. Not quick because sleeves are not quick. But quicker than if you're doing it on DPNs. So there's that. Jana, I'll be right there. She's saying one more over. I'll be and right there. Miss Molly. Are you talking about Miss Molly? This one? Yeah. You showed? One over. That's Miss Molly. Um, and we've also got complete sets and small sets of the twist red lace needles. Everybody loves these and they're the four inch tip. So they're super versatile. Um, I find the five inch tips are not as versatile because you can't really use them for hats sometimes and stuff because the tips are too long. And then we also have the bamboo spins. So if you're a newer knitter or you like something that grabs your yarn a little bit more, we've got the bamboo sets also. Um, and then the twist red lace complete and small sets. So those are available and ready to ship to you. And they're on the website as well as a variety of cords and other accessories for chow goo needles. So treat yourself, you guys. Knit with the good stuff right now. Knit with the good needles. I think we all deserve to be a little indulgent. indulgent. I even had the other day, oh, glory be, I had a real pink drink. I let myself have a real pink drink. I thought, you know what? We're living in a pandemic. I can have a pink drink. And so I did. Bye, Carrie. Have a good week. Have a good week. Okay. You should talk for a bit. And then I got more to talk about. Okay. I'm going to tell you all about Wordscapes. So if you're in the yarn of use, you may have already seen the post. Uh, there's a game. It's basically a word game um, called Wordscapes. And it's fun. It's easy. And I noticed, um, I think I did a post because, you know, sometimes there's fiber crafting words that come up. And so I did a post and noticed that we have a pretty large group um, of people in the yarn of use who play wordscapes. That's what it looks like. And, um, so they just came out with this new feature where you can basically join a team. So I made a team and called it the yarn of use. Now, it's a little bit weird. I think it must be yay you got it now do you have the icon yet somebody no. said they had to get to level 50 before they saw the team icon. i'm sorry i can't the mirror the camera is funny i um, just downloaded it yesterday and i wasted time 
playing it. I should have been knitting, but I wanted to get up to level 50. I'm only on level 39. Yeah. So somebody said you have to get to level 50 before you see the, the team icon. And then someone else, I think Missy said she contacted the company and they're having to do updates. And I maybe they don't do give everybody the update at once. Um, so anyway, once you see it, if you are in the game or you want to get the game, you're welcome to join. Then just go in the icon and, and search for Yarny Views. Basically, I don't, I, maybe they'll develop it more, but the idea so far is that um, you earn points with your team. Like every weekend they do a tournament. And so you always will see it like up there. Well, this time now there's another tournament. This is new. And apparently it's just for teams. Um, and you basically rank with your team um, according to your team's points. But I noticed when I went in there today, we're in last place because I'm the only person that it's awarding points to. Jane said she couldn't get in. So maybe that's part of the update process. I don't know, but my measly 300 points and getting us anywhere. So. <laughs> oh, wait, were you talking? I was playing a game. <laughs> for you <laughs> i'm stuck on this level and i don't know what to do well so you can show jim i bet you jim can help you with words what are you trying to say hey i have to ask my kids my kids for help Bo for help and yeah. and i am not buying coins to go up to another level no, no 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 i don't buy coins either i don't buy helps or anything like that in fact, for the longest time, the daily puzzle was the only thing I even cared about. That is fun because you, every month there's a series of um, points you earn. Like you have to get so many daily puzzles or earn so many points and then you get like 25 and then the next level is 50 and then it's 100 and then 500 or something like okay. that. So for the longest time, I only did that. Okay. Um, yeah. Jane says she never buys coins either. Yeah, this chick's not buying coins. Hey, Kathy Clower says she uses her five inch for everything hats included magic loop yeah I'm one of those that understands the magic of magic loop i'm always impressed by people who can do that that's that's over my pay grade yeah you know what though i will say this kim and i were talking um recently she's doing two at a time socks with magic loop and i may start doing that especially because i'm working on those long socks right now and i'm like dreading getting to the second sock i'm like i don't want to have to do this all over again so I may try some two at a time magic. Trader. Trader. <laughs> Only for long socks, for shorty socks. Tara says that she just sent her join request. I'm assuming to Wordscape. So that's pretty cool. Oh, cool. Let me look. It could be my new toilet activity. <laughs> yes, Tara and Patches, which, by the way, y'all that are in there, go to the chat. Once you're in the group, there's a chat function. And I am the only one who has chatted so far um, <laughs> to tell us who you are, because I don't know who Island Girl is. Um, Katie, I think that's Katie Erickson. Some of you may not want to want us to know who you are. Passant, Toddies, I think that's Linda Passant, Ortiz, maybe. Yarnivore, I don't know who these people are. So you need to tell us who you are in there. Bobby Jopling just said something very interesting. Don't ever buy coins. Once they know you'll buy, they'll make it harder. So you'll buy more. That's right. That's sneaky. Psychological. It says it won't let Jane chat yet. Yeah. I don't know what that's about. I, the only thing I can figure is that they have to do updates. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey, I, at least I'm not knitting in the bathroom. I'm just saying, I mean, some people <laughs> can, but I don't do that. Hey, no, I have on to that yet. <laughs> if you've been watching this very long, you know some of our best ideas come when we're in the bathroom. We are not above <laughs> texting each other or, or dare I say, adding. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom, but we got to do this. Um, so anyway, yeah, anyway, lots of things happen in the bathroom. You know, <laughs> Good stuff happens in the bathroom. Let's get off that. Let's just get off that subject. <laughs> Go away before it gets any worse. Okay. Okay. Bobby says she's island girl. So I have to break my sewing machine out this week, and I haven't sewn in a while. Look at all this really cool fabric I got for masks, and I really want to do some. Um, the, the people at my mom's assisted living could use them. My mom could use one, and apparently now Jim and I could use one too because now they're recommending that you wear it when you go to the grocery. 
And I have lots of pretty fabric that I got at Little Thimble Craft, by the way. If you haven't ordered from Little Thimble Craft, you really need to check her out. She's shipping online now. So oh. Little Thimble Craft. So if you're around the country and you're always seeing us at Little Thimble and you're like, oh, but I want to go. Well, you can't go, but you can buy online and she'll ship it to you. Allie is awesome. Mm -hmm. And beautiful fabrics. Look at this. Won't these make pretty masks? I just have to figure out how to thread my machine again. Me and YouTube are going to be like that this week. Um, and Jane Giffen helped me out and we found elastic online. And so I've got elastic though, to be fair, most of it is black, but that's all right. It'll work the same. Love that. So is anybody else making masks? We want to see your mask in the yarn to use. I know Liz Harris made some really cool ones in there. And I think she even posted a link to where she talked about how she did it or something like that. So if you want to check that out, Allie also has a fantastic video tutorial that we posted on Olive and to you on Facebook a while back. So just scroll down our Facebook page and you'll see that one for sure. Um, so I'm going to get busy on that, but I'm not very good at sewing. I'm really not very good at many things. I just do lots of crazy things. Cynthia, yes, you've been making masks. I'm going to hit you up if I have questions. Melissa, good morning. We're glad you're here. And I failed to mention we were talking about Chow Gu. We've also restocked the Tunisian crochet set, the interchangeable Tunisian crochet set. So yeah. available. And I just want to say we got an email from Chow Gu this week. Um, they did. Did you read that email, Carolyn? Mm -hmm. They have donated. I don't remember the numbers. A huge amount of um, N95 masks and a bunch of other medical supplies to the hospitals in their area. They are part, they're up in, I want to, is it Michigan? I think so. I think they're in Michigan. And um, they're part of the Chinese American Association up there. And they've done a lot also, I think, for people in China and then here through the virus. And I'm just really impressed. And they're willing to donate some things to people who want to do learn to knit kits and things like that. So um, I'm just really, we've always loved Chow Gu. You know, they've given us things in the past for giveaways. They've always been very generous and open-handed with us. And now I'm I'm really pleased to see that they are helping the wider community through this coronavirus, which makes me pleased that we carry their products and makes me feel even better about carrying their products. So absolutely. absolutely. Connie says that she's been making the mask a little fiddly, but not difficult. She's going to post some yarn connoisseur. I don't know about that. Hmm. So Cynthia says, oh, I think they're coming up with names for the game, maybe. Oh, okay. And from one of the volunteers, Brevard Project Linus has been making hundreds of masks. Yeah, I wish I was more skilled and could make tons to, to donate, but I'll definitely donate the ones I have to my mom's assisted living and um and people, you know, locally and stuff. So I know there's been a lot of controversy about whether or not the hospitals can use them. I, I'm trying not to just stay out of that. I'll give them to whoever can use them. So there is that. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing with quarantine isolation living? Just curious. Um, I told Bo, I said, I miss our coffee dates. We used to go to a little coffee shop and get coffee. And it's, you know, and we love to stay at home. But when you have to stay at home, it's suddenly very different. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole different ball of wax, isn't it? Yeah. Um, for sure. It's starting to get to my mom a little. They've become, in the beginning, they were just keeping them in the facility. Now they're keeping them pretty much in their rooms and they're delivering their meals to them. They are doing, they're doing a good job of trying to do some social activities with allowing them to come out of their rooms, just right in front of their rooms, excuse me, and and doing like bingo on a loudspeaker every, everywhere around. Um, but it's starting to really get to her. Maggie says having a bad day depression wise with this today. Oh, Maggie, I'm sorry. Big hugs, big virtual hugs. You've got a group here who loves you. Maria says eating plenty of feelings. Yeah. That's a, that's one of those things so far. I've, I've been able to resist that, but I'm eating, I'm eating popcorn now when I don't usually allow myself that because it's crunchy. Do you find Maria that crunchy things help with stress relief? That's what it is for me. Connie says she's more introverted than she realized. She loves it. Susan's struggling with it. Tish is doing okay. Spring cleaning. 
breaks on her porch, getting things done around the house, Billy says. Yep. I don't hate it. Right, yesterday. Um, and, you know, I, that's one thing that I tend to forget being out inside dyeing yarn and stuff is get some sun. It's supposed to vitamin D is really good for you. So I know some people are still in cold weather and stuff, but if you can try to get some sun. Yeah, I agree. That's important. I did read an article today that um, that I'm trying to think now talking about going outside and walking and running and how to be even careful with that because of the droplets that can be suspended in the air now that they're finding. Um, so you just have to be really, really simple. Jana says, don't forget Nancy. Yes. For Sabre nursing senior living properties. If you have extra masks, she asked for them. Nancy came down for yarn lounge a couple of yarn lounges ago and she's a doctor up there. Um, Karen, three of you, if you have wine and knit a couple of times each week, that's good. Connie gets in the car and drives just to get out. Yep. Jana's doing okay, misses her students. I do have postal runs every day. The post office here has taken um, bigger precautions. They now have screens in front of them and masks and gloves. And I do go to the post. We, we, we go to the post pretty much every day to ship orders. So that gets us out a little bit, trying to be careful with that. May said she had to take a walk yesterday. Frustration. Yeah. And I think that's kind of the theme of what I'm reading is just you have to take care of yourself. You have to let your and be patient. Let yourself have some indulgences, some time. If you cry, if you, you know, whatever you need to do to, to let off that steam, um, we're all having to adjust a little bit. So be kind to ourselves and others. Karen says they do the wine on FaceTime. That's awesome. Debbie, we like to park the car by Goodwill and watch all the people going in and out. That works. You know, speaking of that, we went to Lowe's. So Florida uh, had the lock, you know, state lockdown and it was supposed to go into effect Thursday at midnight. So Thursday um, we went to Lowe's to, Bo wanted to find some Lysol because we're kind of running low. Um, cause he's concerned about groceries and how we're going to clean the, um, jars and, and stuff like that when he comes home. <laughs> and so we went to Lowe's and he went inside and I'm like, this place is crawling with people. I stayed in the car and literally I'm not, I mean, people, and I get it. They want to do home repair projects cause they're at home, but I'm like, you know, we want to paint Morgan's room, but I told Morgan, you have to wait until this is done. Cause I'm not going to Lowe's to buy paint when we don't have to be out and about, but it was amazing to me. I mean, I appreciate them wanting to do home repair projects, but I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And you know, by virtue, we decided to do the split screen and we'll probably continue this for sure through this process because we want to be responsible and, and all of that too. We had thought about doing the park and Pearl and some people sent us some information that we read and did some research and decided mm, that's really probably not a good idea. So we decided to hold off on that. You never know when Park and Pearl might come back though for another reason. It might just be fun to do anytime, but um, we're, we're putting that by the wayside for now, but we're really grateful for your interest in that. Um, but we're trying to do our part to support businesses that are struggling right now. We appreciate you supporting us through this. And um, I, I, I hate to say this because it, it's what you see everywhere, but we will all get through this together. We will. We are all in it together and we'll get through it together and um, we'll do it with yarn. That's right. And fun stuff like that and keeping each other hugged up virtually. That's right. I'm not a hugger, but I can get into virtual hugs. <laughs> That's I like that. ideal for me. All yeah. right. Wow. We've talked a lot. We have. We're getting to where we're pretty chatty on Saturdays. We're pretty chatty people. Chatty, <laughs> chatty. But, um, yeah. But I, I do miss, like, sharing space with you, Carolyn. I know. I'll be glad when this is over and we can get back to doing our events and meeting on Saturdays. Get back to normal. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So orders are going out as usual. We are doing everything we can to get your orders out as quickly as possible. And I think we're definitely meeting those guidelines. So continue to shop. We're happy to put things together for you. If you have questions about colorways that go together, we're happy to get um, happy to send you some pictures and work on that. And um, just be a little patient. I might be a little slower because Emma's not here, but she's doing what's right for her. And I can appreciate that. 
And um, we're having fun, y'all. We want to continue to see your projects and what you're working on. And we got, I'm going to, I'm going to do that cubetcha. I'm thinking I might do it in Barry. That's going to look awesome. I think so. I really like it. It's by Casa Pinka. Never done any of her patterns, but I really like that one a lot. So cool. I'm feeling cast on itis as well as cast off itis. By <laughs> That's right. You're going to post a picture as soon as you finish the sweater, right? Oh, yeah. Of course I will. And then I think I'll post pictures while I'm blocking it because I'm going to use my sweater blocking kit that you gave me. I love I'm it. So excited for that. I can't wait. That was so cool. We do still have a few of those in stock too, the knitter's block and the sweater blocking kit from Coco Knits. So I'm excited to use it. So, all right. Any parting shots? I don't think so. I hope everybody has a good, safe week. Take care, everybody. We will see you in the Yarny use. And if you're not there, we hope you will join and we'll see you next week for sure right here live. And who knows what we'll get up to during the week, right? Never know. All right. Have fun. Bye. Bye.